let us solve one more problem. Evaluate limit extends to infinity root over x plus 1 minus root x. So just we have to rationalize the numerator then apply the limit we will get the answer. Okay, let us solve it. Limit extends to infinity root of x plus 1 minus root x. So multiply both numerator and denominator with root of x plus 1 plus root x. So now this equal to limit extends to infinity root of x plus 1 minus root x by 1 for our convenience multiplied by root of x plus 1 plus root x divided by root of x plus 1 plus root x. So now how to simplify the numerator? Just observe the numerator is, will be in the form of a minus b into a plus b. So that means if you just assign root of x plus 1 by a root x by b so that we have a minus b into a plus b. Easily you can expect the value that will be the in the form of a square minus b square. So let it be simplified using a plus b into a minus b. So let us simplify. Now we get limit extends to infinity. Now the numerator can be written root of x plus 1 whole square minus root x whole square. So now divided by root of x plus 1 plus root x. That means root of x plus 1 plus root x multiplied by 1 we get root of x plus 1 plus root x. Am I correct? So now this can be simplified limit extends to infinity x plus 1 minus x by okay so now root of x plus 1 plus root x so here x x gets cancelled this can be written limit x tends to infinity 1 by root of x plus 1 plus root x. Here just observe the denominator. We need to take out root x common. So that means from this root let us take x common first. Limit x tends to infinity 1 by root of take x common we get 1 plus 1 by x. Am I correct? Plus root x. So next step we get like this very interesting step. So limit x tends to infinity 1 by root x times root of 1 plus 1 by x plus root x. Okay. You can check. Next this root x can be taken out. So we have limit x tends to infinity 1 by root x is common. We have root of 1 plus 1 by x plus 1. See here very interesting the phenomena we have to remember that is as x tends to infinity that implies even 1 by x or 1 by root x 
or 1 by x square also tends to 0. That means this 1 by root x is 0, you can write 1 by root x is 0 by root of 1 plus 0 plus 1. So, what is the value of root of 1 plus 0? Yes, 1. So, now 0 by 1 plus 1. So, what will be the next value? 0 by 2. So, 0 by something is always 0. So, required limit is 0. 